Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to showcase um, the pulverizer. And starting off this series, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the way that you classically would create a um, parallel compression scheme using Reason. And then I'm going to compare that with how you do it using the new pulverizer. So uh, first things first, we're going to create um, an actual mixer. So I'm going to show you how this is done on the old mixer. Um, underneath that, what we're going to do is we're going to create, uh, let's see, let's create a redrum. <clears throat> and then underneath that, let's add in, uh, let's take the samples from Kong and let's get a bass drum. Okay, there's a good simple bass drum. Now we're going to put a pattern in here, so we'll just put a quick pattern down. Just gonna be a four to the floor pattern. Actually, we'll add another one in there. Okay, so there's our drum. <clears throat> now, what you would normally do is you would create a splitter, and then you would also create, uh, let's see, put an M class compressor. Let's pull the threshold down a little. Ratio up, attack low, release, well, release you can do it low too. Okay, now flip it around, and what you're going to do is, uh, you're not going to put this through here, you're going to put this through the splitter. You're going to have one split going there, and then you're going to have one other split going up to your second channel. So you've got your compressed signal on the first channel, and you've got your uncompressed on the second channel. So now, when you play it back, see that compression going through <clears throat> and then you can mix it in however way you want to blend it okay so that's the old way to create it <clears throat> now with the new way to create it let's just delete these it's a little bit easier what you do is you take you'd select the redrum create the effect put the pulverizer on there <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Okay, so now you'd uh, play it, and the squash is your compression. That's how much compression you're adding. You could add a ton, but you don't really want to. Add a little bit of compression, and then your blend knob is what you'd use to blend the two together. And before you do this, you want to bypass the filter so that it's not going through the filter section. So this is exactly how you would compress it. So in this type of scenario, your squash acts as your M-class compressor, your release acts as your release for the compression, which you probably want a little higher there. And then your blend knob acts as the blend between the two signals. It acts as if it was the two fader signals here. And that's really all there is to it. So that's the easy way to do it using the pulverizer. Everything is done within the pulverizer device. So I hope that uh, shows you how to do some parallel compression just using one device now instead of doing it the old way where you'd have to use two different channels. So thanks for watching. I'm Rob. You can come visit me at reason101.net. I will be showing you more tips and tricks along the way. Thanks for watching.